Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today I'm going to talk you guys through how I handle my cash and move things over for bills towards the end of the month. I get this question a lot. It is that if you are cash stuffing and you're saving for all of your bills, how do you actually pay all of your bills? So I was going to do this off camera, but I thought why not go ahead and take you guys along for the ride because I don't know that I have done this in a while. So hi, hello, if you are new, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffings on this channel, but today we are going to be unstuffing these binders, so it's a little bit different. We definitely love talking cash budgeting on this channel though. I I am a single mom who homeschools so sometimes we talk a little bit about my journey and my life but for the most part we are doing a lot of cash and a lot of budgeting if you have not yet subscribed we would love to have you as a part of our budget fam I'm hoping to hit 32,000 by the end of the year just a few days left I think I honestly don't even know what today is let's go ahead and start pulling this cash and reorganizing so I can show you guys what I do at the end of the month so we're gonna start here with bills. If you are familiar with cash stuffing, basically all we're doing here is we are pulling some money, we're putting it in the bank, and we are getting rid of some of our smaller bills we're going to consolidate. So let's start by pulling money from our bills. I did recently get paid. I have about $800 sitting in the bank, so some of that $800 is going to get added into our bills category. Looks like we have two, four, six, eight, one thousand, one thousand, two hundred. We have $1,200 here sitting in our bills binder. We are going to be moving a lot of this money over to the bank. When we start cash stuffing and saving for February bills next week, we will put in a new little savings challenge card here, but for now we'll just leave that. We're gonna keep saving variable money because I'm trying to get a full month ahead on our variable spending, so we're not pulling this to pay for next month's variable spending. We are just pulling the things for our bills. So we are gonna go ahead and pull our school's cash as well. I pay for private school, extra classes and extracurriculars for the boys every month 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 70 80 90 95 200 so it looks like we have 200 dollars to put towards school my ideal would have been to save 300 350 dollars towards school because sometimes we go to the aquarium sometimes we do different things but bare minimum i needed 200 dollars to pay towards a particular class that is every single week we are going to go ahead and pull our car currently for car we have 20 40 60 80 120 40 60 80 200 20 30 40, 50, 60, 200, and 60 dollars towards car. So those are our main categories. We're gonna leave insurance for now because my insurance isn't due until February, so we get to keep building this up. In February, I get to decide if I want to pay a lump sum for six months for this car insurance, or if I want to start paying monthly. We are gonna keep saving and we're gonna see where we are mid-February when we need to make that decision. Haircuts, medical, all of these categories are categories that are going to stay. They're not monthly things like bills, school, and our car note. So combined, I probably have about 1,500 almost. I'm not even going to go through and count this right now because it doesn't really matter. Let me just tell you what the end of the month routine is for me. So like I said, I just got paid. So I have money sitting in the bank account right now and I can put, in some of these categories I was a little bit short on, like car, I need a little bit more for this coming month's car note, I need a little bit more for school. So what I end up doing is I don't cash stuff this next bill. This is just what I do, you can do it however you want, but what I do is I pull a lot of this bills and stuff that I've been saving, and I don't cash up the entire last check that I get this last week of the month. So whatever categories I need to fill in some gaps on, so like the car note, for example, or homeschooling, or I didn't cover all of bills here, so the, the electric for the house, I just pull some of that money from that last check and sort of fill in some of those gaps that were left. Instead of cash stuffing it this last week and filling in the gaps, I just leave it in the bank account because I'm about to put money in again. So it just makes the most sense and it's the least shuffling of money around. So what I do is I go ahead and pull all of this money and then I'll put all of this money in the bank. I will go ahead and pay my car note. I'll go ahead and pay my electric, my phone bill. I pay my rent. I pay everything on the first through the fifth. I put all this money in account. I pay everything right away. So I'm not tempted to spend the money on anything else. And then all of my January bills get paid on January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, something like that. Like it's paid immediately. All of this 
cash that we were saving in December. That's why I say I am a month ahead. I'm kind of a month ahead. It would be nice to be another month ahead, but basically all December we are worrying about January bills instead of worrying about December bills as they come. We are we don't have that kind of stress. We are kind of prepping ahead, if you will. So we emptied out the categories. The only other thing I like to do, instead of just putting all of this money straight in the bank, I like to go through some of my categories that are staying, like variable spending is staying. So I will pull, so out of variable though, I will go ahead and say 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. I will go ahead and put these 20s and 10s in the bank and keep some of the 50s. So I'm going ahead and like getting rid of some of these lower denominations so it's easier to keep cash stuffing when we do it this coming month. So I get the question a lot, one, how do you pay bills because bills come out automatically? Well, I technically don't pay my bills with cash. I'm saving all month and then at the start of the month I put all the money back in the bank and I pay all the bills one swoop, if you will. The other thing I do is while I'm going ahead and doing all of this, pulling of money, I go ahead and shift around my bills so I'm not making yet another trip. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We can go ahead and grab a 50. One, two, three, four, five. I think we had a five down here. So then we have 50, 150, 200, $206. This is so much easier to count than all of the smaller bills. Then when I bring this to the bank, I'm getting rid of a bunch of ones and tens and some of those smaller bills that are really bulking up my binder. Does that make sense? So for the rest of this video, all we're gonna be doing is going through and getting out some of these smaller bills and replacing them with some of the 50s. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 50, 75. This is something I like to do every single month. Sometimes I share it on my channel, sometimes I do not. I probably need to start doing this a little bit more often. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do this little shift around every single month. I feel like it can get confusing if you're not really understanding like all of this isn't free money all of this is money that's going to pay january bills 5 10 15 20 25 so sometimes I feel like if people are just popping in randomly, I feel like that could get a little bit confusing and I really don't want to do that. So that's the only reason I don't share every single month, but hopefully I explained it well enough to where you guys get it. If you are cash shuffling and you don't do things this way, let me know how you handle your bills and shuffling around money. Medical 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 50, 60, 70, perfect. How are you guys doing? I know it has been a minute. As usual, I did not plan on disappearing around the holidays, but y'all know I just get distracted with family things and videos are usually the thing to go because I'm trying to get Etsy orders out on time. I'm trying to do family things and then videos while I want to do this. This is literally my favorite part of the job. It just, you know, making the time can sometimes be difficult. Extra car payment, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Let's grab a couple of 20s. But I hope that you guys have done amazing this holiday season. I hope that you are having fun with family or friends or even just on your own, whatever is your preference. I hope that you are doing that and enjoying the season. This time of year can be really difficult. So I hope that you are finding joy and doing something fun and that you love. Summer camps for the boys. We have 20, 40, 50. Let's go ahead and pull that. So now we have 120 saving towards summer camps for the boys. The boys and I have had a great holiday season. Like I said, we've been busy with family. We've been busy with friends. We actually just got back from a little play group with some homeschool friends. So that has been fun. Birthdays, we have 10, 20, 30, 45. So let's grab some 20s. So we have $45 towards the boys' birthdays. Penny challenge. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this change and put in some ones. All right, so we have $2 in change. I will bring that to the bank and let's just grab a couple of these dollars. Four dollars and some change for the penny challenge. I think this video is going to be very short and sweet guys. We just have a couple more categories to take out. I'm hoping to get another check towards the end of the month. This isn't necessarily the last cash stuffing or cash unstuffing you'll see from me. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and do this and then whatever money is left over, like I said, I do have a 
check sitting in my account right now. So once we put all this in, once I pay off all of the bills and things, I'll see what's left over out, out of that last paycheck. And then we'll cash up it at the end of the month just to give us a little jump start or a boost on getting some of this stuffed and ready for the next month's bills and categories. New clothes, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. So 75, 50, 70, five dollars 76 77 towards new clothes this is going to be new clothes for the boys once the season changes again last category is the 100 envelope savings challenge i don't know if i've mentioned yet in this video but if you like any of the categories or any of anything that you see in this video it is all for my etsy shop jordan budgets you can search etsy just look for jordan budgets and you should find my shop or you can follow the links in the description if you would like to find my shop that way. 100 envelope savings challenge. We have 50, 100, we're gonna keep those 50s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 50 and 60. So 100 envelope savings challenge, we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. 200 and 63 dollars towards 100 envelope savings challenge so that is it for the binders we are going to go ahead and count this and organize this just because i'm going to be taking it to the bank and just for me to reiterate sort of how i handle this i like to go ahead and organize this by bills just so it's a little bit easier when i bring it to the bank are all of these 20s yes Okay, so while I am organizing this, I did want to tell you guys what you can expect coming soon. So the next video you see, see from me should be our January challenge. It's not going to be a challenge as in a like challenge or savings card. It's more going to be I am trying to get different things in order as far as my spending and what I'm doing. So it's more going to be like a budgeting challenge more than it is a savings challenge, if that makes sense. January's challenge is for me and for you guys if you want to participate with me it's to get our grocery budget and spending a little bit more in check if you already have your budget and you're spending in check as far as groceries go please stick around in january and on our grocery challenge videos please be there and watch along with us so that you can comment and give us ideas and suggestions i will say all of these challenges that i'm doing is because it's something that i need to get in order myself so it's not necessarily me giving you guys all of the tips i need you guys to help me too you know what i mean so if you are somebody who wants to get your spending in order as it pertains to your grocery budget please go ahead and participate with me i will be sharing a free printable for you guys if you are somebody that needs to get your grocery budget in order then definitely follow along with me in January our challenge is going to be grocery savings and like trying to be better about our grocery spending I'm gonna have some free PDF printables for you guys to help you track your recipes and your shopping and then to encourage you to shop around for different prices and different items we're gonna talk about that more in that video but that is the next thing you're gonna see from me and then we will do a cash stuffing later and the next video after that I think is going to be our entire budget for 2023 if that all sounds like something you would like to see please let me know in the comments below for now let's go ahead and count this cash we have 50 100 50 200 50 300 300 we're gonna set the 50 aside for now 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 60 80 600 600 and 20 40 60 80 700 20 40 60 80 800 20 40 60 80 900 20 40 60 80 1000 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 90 200 210 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 300 310 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 94 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 500 550 1500 
55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600, 600, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. $1,658 that we are putting into the bank in addition to that last check that we just had. So all of this will go straight to the bank. When I deposit it today, I'm going to go ahead and pay all of my bills today. Everything that I can get covered. Sometimes some of my bills don't come until the second or third, so I'll have to wait just a little bit. But once I know sort of what everything is, every, all of this money immediately goes to where it needs to go towards. And then whatever money we have left over in the bank, I will pull it back immediately so we're not tempted to spend it and I will cash stuff it in our next cash stuffing. Did all of that make sense? I sure hope it did. Sometimes it feels a little bit confusing when you're shuffling money from the bank to the bank and stuff. But Hopefully that made sense. And now we are starting fresh. So at the start of January, we will put in a new bills little tracker. We will start saving for February bills. And then we will start saving for school for February and then the car note for February. And everything else is continuing to build and it's staying in here. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.